Hi family, I hope you're good. I hope you're feeling blessed. It's your sister Pusha Maho again. Oh God, I'm so tired. But yeah, we are enabled. Like we are strengthened. You know, God is so good and God is so faithful. Um, forgive me, fr uh, family, because I'm actually booked very close to the uh, bus station. So there's quite a lot of noise outside but um i'm sorry about that um <laughs> we have started we are studying our series on um spiritual maturity and um the first it's a series but the first part of it is spiritual growth now family that doesn't mean i won't be sharing <laughs> I won't be sharing with you uh, some parts of my my life that I feel good. Holy Spirit, help me, help me, give me strength to even share this. Um, we are living in an era where false prophets have gone out like a pumpkin uh, plant, spread out literally like a pumpkin plant but thank god uh, we have been warned right one of the greatest things the divine wisdom of god could reveal for us in scripture was telling us of things to come and telling us of things that are actually happening you know so when these things happen in most cases we shouldn't even worry much because like we've been one you know so much that people will be like um people have gone to in fact in despair of of doubting prophets of doubting men of god of doubting you name it but i'm not speaking for any particular uh men of god or particular church or no i am just individually but part of a body and also part of a certain past. I am speaking as an individual with the testimony that says, you see this Jesus is not a myth, you know? I'm actually reading one book that's so, <laughs> you know, I wish I could say to the professor that wrote that, that book that i'm reading i'll show you the book or tell you about it later on i wish i could tell him that i understand you and you, you you understand or you qualified for literature but see this one you don't understand it he has to reveal it you know it has to be revealed to you it's a mystery that cannot be understood just by someone trying to understand black and white no it's more than that it's the supernatural power of god through the work of the holy spirit working in the heart of a man working in the mind of a man you see transformation don't just happen because you and you are you, you can no it doesn't work like that the spirit of god works in your heart so when you are reading it just for the sake of black and white you won't understand it so hey never mind about that um i'm not sent by any prophet i'm not sent by any man of god i'm not sent. no i am just testifying on the true purpose of gifts and people i've seen or i've met I've had encounters with people that are genuinely people that you would ask yourself how does a human being like this exist but they do you see a witch is someone that has 
supernatural power that you won't understand but see witches don't just get powers there is something in exchange you see they 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 just don't have or develop powers with time and also witches go to school you see i don't mean daytime school in, in that kingdom there's so much learning to do there is so much rituals to do there's so much dedication to do so there is quite a lot of things involved so it's you know you give you take you give you take you give you take in that kingdom right so basically uh we were taken to this other house the old lady that we were accompanying to this house there was a boy you know i i, I don't want to i can't even remember or even say how old that young fella or little boy was because he was a very uh, around primary level you know uh, this boy was uh, an athletic at his school very very sharp good boy that had good feet so oh sorry about that really i'm really sorry about that it's very noisy Jesus. Uh, so this boy had good feet. He was an athletic. So before we, we went to this house, not once, we went to that house uh, six times. First time we went, uh, everybody, you know, we were rubbing a certain uh, thing or like ointment kind on the body of a boy. Rubbing, rubbing, rubbing from here, you know. And I'll, I'll say this i'll tell you this somewhere ne? see when we starting to rub the boy from here family a witch can come and do a certain visitation uh around your household like they don't mind family <laughs> they don't mind flying from that point to that point for just a little thing you know that boy for six days we were rubbing ointment ne? from here to here from here to there from there to there from there to there for three days you know finish the entire body for three days now for the next coming three days we were only focused on on the feet the feet ne? and making sure that the feet were hot hot like rubbing the feet all of us imagine from here to here here to there there to there you know uh, we were taking something from the boy right but the, in, the intended purpose is to get the boy's feet, right? So the three days was for the body and the other three days was meant to finish the body, right? Uh, the, the feet. Mm. Family, you see God, you can't joke with God. <laughs> you can't joke with God. <laughs> Family, first day we rub the feet everybody's rubbing the feet we rub the feet we rub the feet we rub the feet first day second day we go we rub the feet on the third day <laughs> we found the man of the house the father of this boy naked naked holding his son praying he could see us like he could see <laughs> Family, that was a gifted man, a highly gifted man who could see, which is, you know, he saw us and he's been um, perceiving our spirit for, for days and he's been praying. We were not there. We are not even thinking of, of where, it, where in our chain we could have opened a gate in order for someone to see right through us. No, 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 no. This was not a gate opening. The chain was too locked. This person was gifted beyond humanity. This person was supernaturally gifted to see right through gifts, uh, which is, hi, Bo. <laughs> you know, family, I think it, it was not really, uh, I was not really that highly up there and matured 
uh, with regards to the assignments ne? but i don't want to lie to you i was so scared that he he spoke you know he, he spoke to us family once he speaks we are literally given power we should be able to move the man spoke telling us that this is his house this is his territory we do not have power there the name of the lord has power there this man started preaching and praying at the same time and praying for his son hi bo you know family these are the only words that i remember from that encounter papa tsoha baba tla go tsane o ya gago like my boy wake up they want to take your talent hi bo i was yo e mudim ka o bontsa o it family there are so many reasons that one would just say you want to resign but you can't papa tso ga ba batla go tsaya ne o ya gago and you know children of these people that are gifted hey they they, are, they they have this special thing about them their boy was not like hmm no he was like bomang <laughs> you know already he, I don't know. He heard his father and what he's saying. Papa, you have a better chance than I have. Bomang, you know, not that your oh, family. That was mission failed dismally, because the prophet. That that that's what I'd like to call him because he was not definitely an evangelist, and he was not a pastor. He was a prophet because he could see right through the realm of the spirit you know and he had order in his voice and he had authority that made us fail and one failed uh, mission it's punished like it's punishable you know it's punishment to us so i i was always wondering what kind of power does this one have you know even if we dispensed you know i always had that thing why did he see us you know and not want there were, there were no curses on him to us there were no and he had a very certain spirit i can't say pure but i can say close to pure his spirit was so calm you know someone else would be angered no 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 there was no anger there was no even holy anger as we'd like to call it or whatever he was so super calm but his voice had authority his voice had order and he could see right through us we failed why it a gift that is in someone you know i do not personally believe personally that that the gifts are to edify the church but i believe that they are to do something for an individual as well you know to edify the church right yeah but i believe an individual who's who has an intimate relationship with with god you know and with the holy spirit you know i believe there is p power you know given to people that walk within their gifts knowing god you know family there is absolutely nothing that will blossom there's no gift that will blossom without two things two things I'm not saying this out of I'm getting paid or from from a Bible college or from um a church no. I'm saying this cuz I know it works. Two things family that makes um more 
the effectiveness of any gift that is upon anybody. Your time with the word of God. And your time in prayer. You know, because your time in the word of God, your time in prayer grows you. You see, the real you. Because the outer you is not really the real you. The outer you is just someone that's going to, you know, with everything as the scripture says. You know, everything will vanish. The you is the man that should not be left unfed. And the, the man that shouldn't be left unfed is a man that should uh, live on the word of God. That is his bread. And the word of God is power. The word of God lives. The intense, intimate relationship, like moments you have and spend with God, they're out of this world. So this is a man that walked by the art of God. Not like he walked with prayer. He walked with the word. He was able to stop our missionary. That was not just a hiccup. That was a mess. Because you see, during the day, people that stayed around his, his, his area, he knew them. <laughs> no, you don't want to know what happened in that scene. You know, and you don't want to happen. I remember... Oh, one of the ladies, you know, we met in one Koval Mall, you know, and she was like, now I have to move out from my house. I'm like, where are you going? She's like, have you forgotten that man so us? <laughs> so I don't want him telling people around it that Kialo. <laughs> Family. Anyway, I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed. And thank you so much, family, for walking this day with me. I'm so tired, family. But um, God is with me. You know, when I'm tired, you are going to see. I'm so tired. But, but yeah, we thank the Lord for the gift of life. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed.